Well, hello there everyone, David your friendly Harry Scotsman here once again. Well, today I'm going to do something a wee bit different again. Um, I was out the other day and I happened to come across some pigeon. Wood pigeon. So, um, it's classed as a pest here, but it's a very tasty pest. So, I have a couple of breasts there, which I took out. I've got some mango chutney, some chilli sauce, a little bit of lettuce, some mini tortilla wraps. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to make a little pigeon kebab. I know that sounds a bit unusual, but why not? So, I'll tip you down a bit to the board, let you see the board, and show you what I'm going to be doing. So, let's find the board. So that's what I can see. Oops. Gonna fall off there. Let's hope that's got a bit more balance on it now. Turn that that way. There we go. So, I've got my knife. Nice little knife. And what we'll do is like a little uh, pigeon tender. There's another one, so we'll just take that off. There's a little bit of sinew in here, which I'll just pull off. Go on there like that, that'll go out. The rest of it looks not too bad. Pull that leave it off. It just tightens it up a wee bit. Okay, so that's that off. Yes. So let's have a wee look at this. So the grain's going that way. So we'll cut it this way into little strips like so now you have to be really careful how you cook this stuff because if you overcook it it goes really tough and nasty which you don't want that down a wee bit more as well because this is literally going to take seconds to cook so what I'll do if I prep it all first get everything else ready as well and then it's just a case of throw it all together when it's ready it's fine and that bit is fine get the other one a little tendon right in there, I'm going to take that out because it just goes tough otherwise so let's just nip that out like that so that's out, that's looking okay there Let me tighten it up the top here Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. That's better. Kind of like this. Take that one down a wee bit more. I could butterfly it open, but I'm just looking for really thin strips at the moment that will cook up really, really quickly. That one there, that's virtually it. There we go, so we've got a nice little pile of pigeon meat. Ooh, missed that one. Just nick that off. Because it, it just goes tough, that wee bit. And you don't want that. That's near enough. 
Okie dokie. Yep, that's all looking quite nice. So, I can give my hands a quick little wash a second. Dry them up. Right, there we go. So, that's that ready. Let's give some knife a wipe. take you over to the cooker. I'm going to chop up that uh, lettuce a little bit, but you know how to do lettuce. I mean, everyone knows how to cut up a bit of lettuce. And I'll be using a different board as well for that. So, let's move that plate out of the way, get that out of the road, that can go over there. This is where I talk to myself, guys. It's when it makes more sense, usually. Run the pan there, let's zoom it up. I've already got some oil in there. Fire the pan up. I'm gonna have that on a medium heat there. Just let that warm up a bit while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna run the knife. Warming up nicely. And in goes the pigeon. Basically you shoot this stuff like steak or liver or stuff like that, you do not want to overcook it. You want a bit of colour, like this. Smelling wonderful coming through here. Done now. Now I would have shown you how I get the pigeon, but YouTube don't really like seeing that sort of thing these days. And pressing it as well is not like that for some reason. Sound of meat just coming together there. So I'm going to kill the heat from there. Take it by the way. Come over here. There's the board. Right. Definitely enough for one 
possibly two. I'm going to stick together. That's a better one. Use that one first. So. Into the jar. Get a little bit of mango chutney here. Love mango chutney. Just the sweetness of it is amazing. Like that. A little sprinkle of lettuce. Like that. And then a little bit of pigeon. Like that. I'll probably get two out of this actually. When I get two or I'll just make it a nice big one. Oh, I've got plenty of lettuce left, I'll use that for the second one. Wrap it up. No one. I'll get the chilli sauce first. on here oh. now we'll wrap it up like that make sure it all stays inside I'm just going to put the knife on there just now back up a wee bit. So unfortunately looking back at me is a scary sort. So there is a little pigeon breast kebab wrap thing. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. The meat, how do you describe the meat? It's almost like a nice bit of steak. Really finely done. The mango's just lifting it with the sweetness. Chili's just giving it that little oomph. Lettuce just gives you bulk. That is so nice. I'm just going to kill that there because it's making an absolute din. Burst the bottom out of it, so I'm covered in mango. But that is absolutely fantastic. Going to do another one. Just put it all together. Go and sit and have that for my brunch. Um, I know the time is getting on a bit. It's back of one, but I've not had any breakfast yet. So a couple of these <coughs> is going to go down absolutely fantastically. So if you like this, um. A little bit of game cooking there. Um, I'll see what I can get next time. If you quite like it, give it a like. That would be greatly appreciated. And um, if you haven't already hit the red button, go on, it's free. Treat yourself. Hit the bell, might even give you a notification. So, take care of yourselves everyone. And hopefully, I will see you all again very soon. See ya.